Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So we continue the introduction chapter uh, in part 2. So for transfer function, we define the Laplace transform and its inverse. We presented the idea of the partial fraction expansion and applied the concepts to the solution of differential equation. The transfer function can be presented as a block diagram as shown in this figure with the input on the left the output on the right and the system transfer function inside the block. So the system is represented in the transfer function form in S domain. Output to the input we label as C over S, C for the output and C over R, C for the output and R for the input. Notice that the denominator uh, of the transfer function is identical to the characteristic polynomial of the differential equation. Also, we can find the output C as equal to input multiply with transfer function. In this case, C as equal to R as multiply with T F in S domain. So the transfer function is represented as numerator over denominator. The denominator is the characteristic function, contains all physical characteristic of the system. Characteristic function or the other name is characteristic equation formed by setting the denominator equal to zero. So from the denominator or the characteristic function or the characteristic equation, the root of the characteristic equation determines the stability of the system and the general nature of the transient response to any input. So please remember that uh, from the pole and zero, the left side is stable region and the right side is unstable region. Where the numerator is a function of how the input enter the system. So this is an example which a system is described by the following differential equation in time domain. So we have y function and also x function with a third, second, first order differential equation. Find the expression for the transfer function of the system y over xs. So this is how you do it for the third order differential equation in time domain. We convert to s cubed, second order, s squared, first order, s. So this is the y function we write as y in bracket s. For the x function we write as x in bracket s. So for this part, this is s cubed y s plus the gain is 5, maintain it, and this is second order. So s squared y s plus the gain is 7. So this is the first order multiplied with s. The function is y s. And plus, this is without differential equation, this is the y function. So we write as y s in bracket equal to the right side part which is third order differential equation so s cube x s plus 2 maintain the gain as 2 second order differential equation so s squared multiply with x s plus the gain is 3 so 3 s uh, dif uh, first order differential equation so this is s x s plus 7 x so we write it as 7 x in bracket s so to determine the transfer function y s over x s, which is equal to this one, we rearrange this equation until we get this transfer function arrangement. So the next part we have poles and zero. Poles is the value of the Laplace transform variable s that caused the transfer function to become infinite, or poles is any roots of the denominator of the transfer function which is common to roots of the numerator. Next one is zeros. The value of the Laplace transform variable s that cause the transfer function to become zero. Or zeros are any roots of the numerator of the transfer function, which is common to roots of the denominator. So poles is the roots of the denominator. Zeros is the roots of the numerator. So this is an example of the transfer function in a closed loop system with input R and output C.
plot the open loop poles and zeros of the system above meaning that based on this transfer function only without determine the closed loop transfer function this is the open loop transfer function take this one and plot the open loop transfer function so poles is the roots of the denominator in this case the poles are equal to negative 1 and negative 2 zeros is any roots of the numerator so in this case zeros are equal to negative 3 and negative 4 so you plot in the pole and zero map um, you need to draw these two lines the horizontal is for real axis the uh, vertical axis is for imaginary and we have poles at the denominator negative 1 and negative 2 with the symbol x and this is the label of negative 1 and negative 2 for poles and from the numerator we have two zeros negative 3 and negative 4 which is represented by circle so label as this one so this is pole with the x symbol and zeros with a circle symbol so you can try by yourself with the example of this one for three example to determine all the poles and zero and you also can map into the pole and zero map so that's it for part two thank you very much